Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Hardcore Classic WoW. Last episode, we finally acquired the Light of a Loon, and then we ventured to the Charred Vale, and we survived. Got into a couple of close calls, had to use a few health potions, and then we made our way to Nigel's Point. And we have the flight point for that zone now, which is Desolus. Hopefully we make the boat here. We are heading to Menethil Harbor today, and we will be making our way to Iron Forge. And we are going to level up our engineering. As the plan for today, we'll, we will see how long it will take us to level it up. If see if we can, you know, maybe get out or back to the wetlands so we can do a little bit of questing. I was also thinking about starting the Whirlwind Axe quest. And to do that, we need to head over to Stormwind, and then we need to talk to Wu Shen and check out this quest here called The Islander. So maybe we will do that after we do a couple of things in town. And I just finished watching Tyson Fury fight against Francis Naganu. And man, that was a great fight. Really close. And Tyson Fury pulled it off at the end. I would honestly say I think Nganu won. Or Naganu won. But it's hard to give him the win there and take away T Tyson Fury's 50-0 record when the fight is that close. Like, I think N Nganu probably won by by less than a point or maybe a point, so it's, it's tough to give it to him there, but he's an amazing fighter. He's like the Shohei Otani of fighting. And I don't know if you guys know who Shohei Otani is. He's an MLB player that is not only a great pitcher, but also a great hitter as well, so... It's bit created both aspects of the game, which is pretty much what Francis Ngannou is. He's a great MMA fighter, and also now he he's probably considered a great boxer, too. He just took a 50-0 world champion to 10 rounds. Insane fight. Looks like we're making a little bit of coin today. That's good. Keep this in the auction house for now. I mean, in the mail. And we'll eventually put it back up on the auction house. And should we have our hearth set here? I guess so. Why not? Looks like we have a quest to turn in. Lightforge the doomed is a fleet. Precious metal, but it sounds like your quest is a dire one. You've come a long way, brother. With luck, you might just find what you seek. And if you do get the iron, I know who can fashion it into a weapon against this necromancer you speak of in Duskwood. Oh, the yeah, the necromancer. The shore here are the doomed third fleet of Kul Tiras, burned and sunk by... We'll pick, we'll pick that up later. Maybe when we come back. That would be a good quest to pick up, just so we can eventually deal with that elite right, necromancer, Morbid Fell. We've stories to tell and kegs to empty. All right, so now the Deepwater Tavern is our home. Let's make our way over to Iron Forge. And we will tr try to sell all of this loot that we got. Where would you like to fly to? And we'll do a little bit of engineering. Have a good one. Currently at level 138, which is pretty good. Close to 150, so we should level it up today, I think. And I hope we can do that in town. This is my first time... Well, it's not my first time leveling up engineering. I did it way back in 2019, but I totally forget how, how we leveled it up. But I, I assume it's all leveled up in town. I know some professions require you to go to, like, specific NPCs out in the world. Which I think is kind of cool. Adds a little RPG twist to professions.
But yeah, guys, it was a good fight. And now Fury is going to fight against Usyk. They are both undefeated. And I, I'm honestly a little worried for, for Fury. I don't know if he's going to be able to beat Usyk. But maybe he can. Maybe Nganu, Nganu is like this, just that great of a fighter. Hope we get to see more boxing fights for Naganu. It'd be awesome to see him fight, you know, like an Anthony Joshua or a Deontay Wilder. Like a, a, a boxer of that caliber. And then he just works his way back up. Gains the respect he deserves. I think he's already got a bunch of respect after that fight, but there's probably people that are that probably think it might have been luck because it's his first fight, but he's just an insane athlete. What's up? Seek out Chandrina in Silverwind Refuge. Do you want she any of these? The yeah. Okay, well, we have some ore on us. Look at all the people here. These are just NPCs. Oh, they're some people are NPCs, some are not. Let's smelt some ore, guys. So we'll smelt all this copper that we got. We have even more in the bank. We're going to be in town for a bit. We're going to try to get all the bronze that we can. And then we'll have to make our way down to Tinkertown. Because that's where the engineering trainer is. And we will level up our engineering. And I went on Twitter after the fight. A lot of people think it's rigged and that Fury should have lost. And I seen a video of Mike Tyson. He trained Nagano. And uh, he said the fight wasn't rigged. But he did say that we all know like, you know, the real winner of that fight is Francis Ngannou, like, respect-wise. Forget what he said, but that, that that's kind of how I think it came out. That was my perception of what he said. Like, he, he was the winner tonight. And it was probably a little bit of a hit on Yuri's reputation. Here, let's uh, guess we'll head over to Tinkertown. We'll see if we can learn anything. Can make a few more heavy blasting powders. So we'll do that. Maybe we'll get a couple levels here. I was hoping to get to 140 this, but... Up to 139, not bad. All right, here we are in Tinkertown. The artisan engineer. Excellent. You have proven yourself worthy. Now for the next phase of your expert engineer. Nice. All right, so what do we want to learn? Worrying a bronze a gizmo. Okay. Is there anything else here that's it's kind of cool for us to learn? Is there any more target dummies? Let's see the unavailable one. Bring big bronze bomb, bronze framework, explosive sheep. That'll be a good one. I wonder when the next target dummy would be. I'll have to look into that because there is upgraded versions of Target Dummy. You have a great Maybe the engineering trainer just doesn't sell that. Hello there. To Should also probably pick up some of the the quest for um no no more gone when while we're here because we will do that dungeon pretty soon.
should be a pretty good level for it. Yeah, we're pretty much halfway there. I think 34, 35 would be pretty good. Alright, so we got a bunch of wool cloth. We need to, we could finally start spending these bronze bars, guys. And turning them into wearing like bronze gizmos. Talk to me. Okay. Some iron ore here we need to turn into bronze bars. Let's try to smelt all this stuff, get all of the Heavy blasting powder. Iron bars I think we're okay on. How many bronze bars do we need? I think... 60 should be more than enough for now. Probably gonna craft some more while we're here. Okay, good. Yeah, I think we'll focus on the engineering for now. And then we'll head over to the auction house and try to lighten up our bags a little bit. What can I do for you? We can sell this. There's a little bit of junk in our bags here. These feathers. That should be it. Be good. All right, so let's do a little bit of crafting, guys. make as many of these whirring bronze gizmos as we can. It's a lot of copper. But yeah, that, and one thing I've learned about that fight too, MMA is, is on another level than boxing. Like, it's boxing's cool, but there is no way that a, a that a boxer that I think a boxer would be able to last like five rounds and have a close fight and almost beat you know a, a UFC fighter that is of the same weight class as them. I just don't see that happening unless they're like Francis Ngannou and they're just like amazing athletes. So that was impressive. And the thing that's interesting about this, this would have never happened if he, if Nganu signed on to the UFC. So what happened is he was a UFC fighter and Dana White, who uh, runs the UFC, he said that he, he didn't want, he was going to pay him a lot of money. But he said that he couldn't, you know, go out and box. He'd have to remain as an MMA fighter. And Nganu didn't want to do that. So he decided not to take the contract. And then now he's been pretty much banned from fighting in the UFC. And he's, everyone was like, I wonder if, what's going to happen. I wonder if he's ever going to come back. And then he started fighting, I think, in another MMA organization. I don't know if he's had a fight yet there. I forget what it's called. But then he got this fight with Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, like, really hooked him up and gave him an opportunity to become a boxer. And he really took advantage of it. And his performance honestly helps UFC a lot.
because he did pretty damn well. Look, even I expected him to get probably completely wrecked. But it was close. He even got a knockdown in the third round. The only knockdown of the fight. A lot of smelting today, guys. We have BlizzCon coming up. I wonder if BlizzCon, at BlizzCon, if they're going to mention anything about like hardcore, because it did pretty damn well. Maybe it'll add some more content for hardcore classic. Wow, you know, like maybe some more challenges, like a solo self found. Uh, game mode or something like that because there's so much they can add to, to hardcore they could add like these fun challenges for people to do and tons of stuff they can just be creative so I wouldn't be surprised if we seen some news about hardcore alright so there's all of our bars guys so now we are going to focus on crafting Worrying bronze gizmos. And we need a blacksmith hammer. And we left the blacksmith hammer back in the bank. No. That's too bad. Alright, well, we'll head back down to the commons. I guess we'll do a little bit of auction house stuff. Put a few things up there, maybe. Like these light feathers. Totally all of these sell for 12 silver. A little bit more than that, 1260. Yeah, okay, make sure we get the hammer. I don't want to forget that. Here they are. Okay. Where's our hammer at? Do we not have a hammer in our bags? What did I do with the hammer? You gotta be kidding me. Watch, get it back. Maybe we never had one? Yeah, it says we needed a, a blacksmithing hammer, right? Requires blacksmith hammer. Yeah, maybe we just never got one of those. Unless I sold them. Maybe I did. Probably. Who knows? We'll have to go get some some tools. We also need an arc light spanner. I don't know how we don't have that. What happened to that stuff? I swear we, we had that in the our bank. Well, here we go. I might have to make one of those. Auctioning. Put up, uh, see if this sells quick while we're just running around town. Some coal, get rid of that. Clock one gold for the rain collar cord of the whale. Grunt's chest piece of the eagle. Maybe that would sell. Maybe a, a poly paladin would want that. Two ninety eight for it. I doubt that'll sell, but if it does, that would be amazing. Got some health pots. I want to get rid of. I probably want to buy some health pots. Let's see how much these are. Wow, these are cheap, man. 
Six silver for greater healing bots? These were so expensive when we first purchased them. I guess we'll just buy these, these few here. I wonder how much these are. That's, these are actually kind of expensive. We'll buy a few, though. Buy two of these, or one of these. Can we sell any of this stuff? The bubbling water, you think anyone would buy that? Let's see. Let's throw it up there. Storing bomb. No one's buying that. Clam chatter, we'll keep that. So bad. All right, that should be good for auctioning. I don't know what happened to our tools, though. We had tools. I swear we did. Did I just, like, delete them? It's good. Our light feather sold. Nice. So I think we'll have to make an art like arc light spanner. I think you have to yeah, I can make one, but it's it's cost six copper bar. <laughs> you got my attention? It's like six silver right there. We'll take a bit more bronze bar. Alright, well, let's go make our way to the engineer. We'll make an arc light spanner. And then we'll get ourselves a blacksmithing hammer. I couldn't see it in the bank. Well, this is unlocked, right? Pretty sure our bank was showing all the slots too. I gotta go back, guys. I'm, I'm like losing my mind here. Maybe I sold it. It's not a big deal to buy a new one, but it's just weird that I don't have it on me. Maybe we got rid of it. I just decided to delete it. What? And I said, you know what? We'll just buy some more eventually. Yeah, who knows? These are... There it is. There it is. I knew it. There's a bag not being shown. There we go. There's our stuff. We don't have to make it. I would have felt like such a Goomba. I made one and then seen it. Happy we went back. Sometimes you just got to listen to yourself. Just go with your gut. Okay, now we don't have to go to the engineering guy. For now. So let's make some of this. I don't know if we had to come all the way here for this. Probably not. I only want to make 15 of these. And then we want to make some bronze framework. We actually need some medium leather for that. And then after that, we should have enough to make a few explosive sheep. We're going to need more wool cloth. Supposedly, this should bring us up to 150. We'll see. We'll just make one more until we get to 150. There we go. So we got 16 of these now.
I guess we'll go over to Tinkertown. We'll go learn Bronze Framework. Maybe we can learn Explosive Sheep as well. And we need Medium Leather, damn it. To make the Bronze Framework. And we want to make Explosive Sheep just because it's, it does pretty good damage. I'll tell you guys what it does. It, um... Charges at an enemy and explodes for 135 to 165 damage. It's quite a bit. No stun, though, so it's not like a CC, but it does a lot of damage. And we can use it as, like, sort of like a range ability, which is kind of cool. Excellent. You have proven yourself worthy. Now, for the next phase right, of your instruction... Explosive sheep. Not bad. Bronze bomb. I kind of want to just learn that to see if we can make any of those. We need silver contact. Does that sell from a vendor? We have a lot of bronze bar. It's just it's going to take off a lot of heavy blasting powder. Mm, interesting. Yeah, we have to make silver right. contact. I need silver for that. Yeah, we can make two. You need silver bar. That's brutal. You have five contact, though. Every time we make one of those. So we'll get like ten. And then you get you get a couple bombs there. Might be worth doing. Not really doing anything with the silver. Bronze framework, we just need medium leather. We'll make a little bit of both. We need more wool cloth, though, if we want to make more, more of these, uh, these explosive sheep, though. We need a lot of wool cloth. All right, we're back here. Let's get some medium leather. I think we'll get 15 or 16. I guess we'll get 16 medium leather. Let's auction off some of the items here. Sell these light feathers. Sell some more of these rough stone. All right, medium leather. Kind of expensive. We only want 16, so a 20 stack. Doesn't cut it, but we could sell five. We'll just buy a 20 stack. And then we'll either hold on to it or put the rest up on the auction house stuff we don't the rest we don't use. Alright. So let's see if we can craft this here. Yeah, you can. Nice. So we only want to make 16. Because we only have 16 whirling bronze gizmos. Go enchanters like give you enchants at a discount just so they can like help level it up.
Oh, well, you we can make a few explosive sheep. I guess we'll make two. Why not? We need an anvil for that. I guess we need an anvil for the bombs as well. Let's get a bunch of our silver bars here. Toss the bronze bars in there, the gold. Maybe we'll start selling some of our bronze bars, but we'll see how many of these... How many of these bombs we can make. We'll make the bombs first. Let's make some silver contact. I think maybe 15 would be good. Where's the silver contact again? There it is. Our rough stone sold, that's good. Yeah, I'll take 15 of these. And now we can start making big bronze bombs. It's good we got this stuff now. We didn't even have that. We almost died in the charred veil. Our light feathers sold. Nice. Stuff sells pretty damn quick. All right, so let's make a bunch of big, big bronze bombs. Wow, these went uh, green pretty damn quick. But we got to do something with the heavy blasting powder, right? We want to make sure we can make a few explosive sheep, though. Now, we're going to be tossing these bombs. This is good. Actually, we'll, we'll save the rest for explosive sheep. Oh, got a few explosive sheep there. We're at 171 engineering, guys. Not bad. Is there anything else we want to do? Put the explosive sheep there and the bombs here. We can make a few more bombs. Might as well. We go 30 bombs, guys. How long does it stun them for? Stuns the target in a five yard radius for two seconds. That's a two second stun. Wow. It's going to save our lives. Any quests here? For oh, yeah. Couple dungeon quests. We'll probably pick that up when we go to Stormwind. Dungeon quests here. No. Oh, the Islanders here. Let's pick that up. It's good. Maybe we don't have to go to Stormwind. Okay, so let's sell some of the junk we got here. Hold on to the medium leather for now. I want to get rid of this. Let me get rid of these feathers. I think that's it. Keep everything else. All right, so let's drop some stuff off in the bank. Then we will be on our way to 
pick up the Islander quest. What's on your mind? Put all this back. Anything else we want to put in there? Need some bullets too. Probably buy some some bullets. Should be good for now. Watch your back. All right, let's make our way to the military ward. There should be a place for us to buy bullets there. That was good. Got our engineering to 173. We're holding on to our, our tools. Probably, probably should have put our tools back in the bank. Do that later. Alright, so I think we can buy bullets in here. There's also a weapon trainer here. You, got my you want to be trained in the use of a weapon, do you? Well, don't stand there slack-jawed. Speak up, laddie. Might as well learn two-handed axes and two-handed maces. Off with you. How are you? Pair of gear. Let's buy some some shots here. I'm just gonna buy light shot. This is crafted light shot. Do we still craft light shot? Which is that? Need rough blasting powder though. Yeah, we're not gonna make that. We'll just Get a stack there. Watch your back. Should Watch I get rid of this mind. stuff? He doesn't want to buy it. Keep your feet on the I'll ground. blame him. <laughs> doesn't want our junk. We've got some junk bullets. Where's, uh, I wonder where daggers is. Do we have daggers learned yet? Maybe you learned that in Stormwind? Okay, so there's the Islander. Let's pick this up, guys. The big wars might be over for now, but we still have to keep our skills sharp. Let's see if there's anything to learn here. Seems to be just be... It's just dual wield, revenge. Another rank of revenge at 34. Seems like 34 has a couple of... good abilities. Yeah, 34, we should come back. And at 40, we learn plate mail. See you soon. Your renown as a warrior grows, adventurer. Now it is time to pit yourself against your peers and see where you stand. There is an island off the coast of the Barrens, south of Ratchet. It is called Frey Island, and it is a place where warriors meet. Meet and fight. Speak with the chief warrior of Frey Island, Clanock MacLeod. If he finds you worthy, then Clanock will lead you further down the warrior's path. To reach Frey Island, search for the sandbar shallows along the merchant coast. Nice. All right, guys. Well, that is the beginning of our journey to getting a, a whirlwind weapon. I don't know if we'll get whirlwind axe or whirlwind mace. The mace is pretty damn nice. And Ever heard of the Shimmering Flats? It's a stretch of salt flats way over in Kalimdor, just south of the Thousand Needles Canyon. It's a great place for racing because, well, it's so flat. A couple of known brothers are out there, friends of mine, trying out their new rocket car. But will you be going down there I soon? Hear it's fast. <laughs> so fast that their pilots keep crashing. Maybe. Giving themselves concussions. So they asked me for some siege engine helmets, but I have duties here. I can't make the trip. Can you? I guess we'll hold on to it. It's close to RFK. Like, we could just go and turn it in. When we make our way to RFK. And then we could all go also go down to Tanaris And pick up the flight point and gadget stand. It's a little dangerous, though. The mobs will be around our level or a little bit higher there. 
for sure in Tanaris they're higher level, but in Shimmering Flats, I think they're like mid 30s. Okay, so let's pick up this. I trusted quest. Therma Plug person. Never did I expect that he would betray me Those and all the entire the Gnomish quests? people. And for what? Power, wealth, all things that he would have had in time. Now we have been displaced from our home, and that madman Save is in tech charge. Bot's the brain. king of nothing. We will retake Nomerigan, adventurer. We will not stop until the city is back in our control. If you wish to join in our fight, a simple task up. I ask of you. Kill the betrayer. Destroy Mechaneer Thermoplug. When our beloved city Noma Regan fell, a rogue spark must have jolted my poor creation TechBot. It once aided me and my associates with its countless gizmos and limitless store of information, but its positronic brain has polarized. Now it's negatronic, and TechBot's behaviors are reversed. It roams Noma Regan in a frenzy, but perhaps it can be salvaged. Huck perhaps if you can retrieve TechBot's down. memory core and bring it to me, I can discover the cause of the polarization and fix my poor TechBot. All right, nice. So now we have most of the the Nomar gone quests just want to see if there's anything else I want to put up on the auction house I don't really don't think there is but I'm gonna go back to the bank and drop some just a few more things off I think we're okay with the t having only two target dummies if we run out we will Come back and make some more. Interest in the fight. Yeah, let's drop some more stuff off here. Try to fill it up. Light shot we'll throw in there too. Should have 128. Anything else to put in there? I guess this lean wolf lank. Like maybe we can just make the food later. Yeah, and that should be it for now. I want to hold on to everything else. All right, so let's hearth to Deepwater Tavern. And we are going to continue this warrior quest where we will eventually get a whirlwind weapon. Still debating on whether to get whirlwind axe or the or the mace. Is there a boat over here? See, the plan is is what we're going what we're going to do. We're going to make our way over to Thessalmar, and then we're going to fly over to Ratchet, and then from Ratchet we'll swim over to the island. Check out the Islander quest. We got our fishing rod on us. So we can do a little bit of fishing while we wait. for more SM full run. What a level he is. Level 40, yeah. I think we'll do a couple full runs of that level too. You might as well, even if you're not getting XP, the loot's good. And there's the boat coming back. Yeah, that was good. I'm happy we got our engineering up finally. We could have put some copper bars on the auction house or maybe some bronze bars, but I think we'll hold on to them for now. We could still use, you know, bronze bars for for the, the bombs if we want some more. We got 30 of them. So we... <laughs> We'll have to use a lot before we need more. By, probably by the time we, we need more, 
we'll be making, you know, new bombs. It should be better. Come on, yeah, we're not gonna get our... Yeah, the boat ruined our line. Damn it. I didn't know the boat could do that. This mount's pretty cool. The gnome robot chicken mount. Looks much better, though, when you get the, the epic version. I think all the mounts are like that. But yeah, Wrath of the Lich King, it's a lot like retail now, man. Like the, the old, I guess the 2019 version of Classic WoW. It's now in 2023. The, the latest patch in Phase 4 has really changed it to where it's pretty much like retail. If you have, like, a 12-month subscription that they, like, reward you with, like, mounts for that version of WoW, it's, it's kind of interesting. You also get mounts for retail as well. And the way you access your mounts now is the same as retail. It's all account-bound. Back in the day, it used to be, you know, character. Like, all your your collections would be character-specific. Or character-bound, I should say. And that has changed. It's more like retail. And it pretty much is retail. Because, uh, you know, you, you have the WoW token now in there. And I don't really mind that because it's not really classic WoW anymore. You know, we're done. Once the Lich King's dead, it's it's over. So I'm interested to see what they do with Cataclysm. I'm honestly looking forward to this BlizzCon. It's a it's a big one. They have to do something big here, or you know. Or people just stick stick to playing hardcore, I guess. <laughs> I think hardcore has been the most fun I've had at the moment in WoW. I have enjoyed ICC, though. IC Ice Crown Citadel has been a blast. I was getting kind of burnt out, though, when we were just doing Oldar and... The trial of the Grand Crusader every week. It's getting kind of boring. But I really like Ice Crown Citadel as a raid. It's my favorite raid, so. It keeps me playing. Alright, so here we are. Let's go chat with, um,. Baldric. Where would you like to fly to? I would like to fly to Ratchet. See you soon. Yeah, I wish I could show you guys the Whirlwind of Mace. I think it's called that. I'm not too sure. Let's see if, it, if it's called the Whirlwind Mace. Yeah, Whirlwind, it's called the Whirlwind Warhammer. <laughs> cooler name than the whirlwind mace but it's uh it's top end damage isn't as good as the whirlwind axe and it has 146 like top end damage 3.4 weapon speed and the stats are completely the same but i think the whirlwind warhammer is better as a human because you get the you know this the weapon skill with um, with maces, so well, you see how our our axes are at 165. That's the max, and then our maces go up to 170. Our two-handed maces can also go up to 170, whereas our axes will only be 165. So we'll hit more. You know what I mean? Land more hits with the maces.
so the axle has a little bit more top end damage, but you lose on the the weapon skill. So I think I think the mace might be a, a cool one to get. I think that might be better. The sword sucks. Its top end damage is really low. It hits fast, but it, it's the, the sword's the worst. I think, in my opinion. You want a weapon that hit, that hits hard because when you hit hard, you can crit. Get really high crits. Like our crits will be close to being over 300 damage with that mace. All right, so here we are in Ratchet, guys. And we're gonna head south. We're gonna go, go for a little swim. We also have a bank here. I don't think we need to put anything in there. Done enough banking for today. Can sell this restoring bomb though. We'll see if anybody buys this type of water. Maybe we'll hold on to it. Could sell later. The fish actually sells. Look at how much that fish is. It's gone up by 420, guys. Firefin snapper. Yeah, fishing makes you coin. <laughs> Every fish gives you one silver. That's pretty damn good. Catch 4,000 fish, that gets you your mount. Well, 4,000 good fish. Can't catch uh, these guys. These were <laughs> Take you a lot more. Probably like 16,000 of these. Cool to see Horde still, like, playing on the server. I haven't really checked the population on this server. I wonder if there is, like, a... a realm pop or, like, a... something that counts it. There's a website I used to go to to check that out for realms. Maybe I'll check that out later. So I'm interested to see how many order on the server. I, I see a bunch of them in the Barrens. Not too many when I'm in Ashenvale, though. Few. All right, so we got some McCurrs here. They're only level 19, so it should be all right. We need to watch out. They will attack us if we get close. Seems like we're swimming over to a prison island right now. We need to prove ourselves. We need to speak with Clan Ock McLeod. I guess it's a good time to do some elixirs. Why not? I think we're not doing too well on his food. We don't have a food buff. <laughs> Our cooking's doing it. Lilith gave us a, a buff. So awesome. Thank you. Just hanging out here, giving warriors buffs. Wow, look at this battle we're going to have here, guys. The pit. <laughs> Hello, warrior. It's good to see you made it to Frey Island. I hope you find it to your liking. Be if you want to learn from me, then you must first pass the affray. It is a challenge we on Frey Island like to offer rising warriors who think they're tough. And if you can pass this test, then I'll know you are. To begin, walk into the middle of that crowd yonder and step on the grate. That'll tell Twiggy Flathead you're ready, and he'll send challengers against you. Beat all the challengers, and he'll call out Big Will, kill Big Will, and return to me in the time we allow. 
All right, let's go slay Big Will. Where's this Twiggy guy? I think he's right here, isn't he? <laughs> Step on the grate to begin the refray. He's the afraid challenger. It's like a gauntlet. Maybe we should be in D stance for this. How many challengers do you gotta deal with? You guys running away? A coward. <laughs> Maybe he got feared by us. Let's have a bite to eat. Maybe we gotta get back in or we fail. We have all our cooldowns, so it should be good. Gotta be ready for Big Will. Oh, another one. Oh wow! So if you if you loafed. Are they getting feared by our our demo shout? There's another one. We'll fear him again here. We get feared by that. That's OP. First stage is over. Big Will will come on down. It's a big dude. Ready when you are, warrior. Let's fight Big Will. Just uses his fists. I wonder if we can fear him with our demo shot. No, he doesn't get scared. Should we use one of our bombs on him? Nice. There's Torrance cheering for us. Big Will slain. Outstanding. <laughs> it's his turn. Hope that warrior takes him down. Well done, adventurer. You have passed the affray. You are a worthy warrior, and I'm honored to teach you. Now that you've learned your berserker's stance, you'll want a nice. Oh, we learned berserker's stance. Nice. Talk to Bathra, the Wind Watcher, a troll hermit who lives between the Alterac Mountains and the Western Plaguelands. He is a skilled weapon maker and a powerful shaman. To find Bathra, go to the river that flows along Terran Mill's eastern flank. Follow it north. Bathra is camped near ruins that rest along the river's eastern bank. Nice. Well, we're going to be heading up there. That's close to South Shore. Well, this guy can do it. Excellent. All right, so let's make our way back to Ratchet. 
That was pretty good. Our coal salt, nice. One thing I really enjoy about, you know, hardcore, there's always people, you know, leveling in the, the low level zones. I wonder how long has it been out? Almost three months now. The world really feels alive. high levels dying today i got a 32 mage named water portal died to a curzon jungle fighter wow very brave going down to uh stranglethorn vale at 32 probably go there a little later Maybe we'll slay the elites, like all the, the and there's like a bunch of animals you have to fight, jungle animals. It'll be tough though, as a warrior. Probably not recommended. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, I think we will be heading back to the wetlands. We'll do a little bit of questing there, and then slowly but surely we'll make our way north and continue our quest for a whirlwind weapon but as always thanks for watching keep your heads up later mm -hmm.